I received this pedal, dark glass element, as the cabinet simulation device. I received this pedal about a month ago, maybe a few weeks ago. So this is by a Finnish company called Dark Glass, and I remember thinking, well, I thought they make stuff for bass players. <laughs> you know, my love for bass playing or playing bass is at another level. So I thought, okay, what can I do with this thing? Well, <laughs> should I send send this over to Davy Five Hundred Four, or should I s send this over to Charles? They're bass players; they can do this. They maybe they can use this more than me. But apparently, this pedal, um, the Element pedal, is a cabinet simulation headphone amp. So as we get pretty nerdy at this place about gear, we're gonna try this thing now. Um, I did connect it together, so you don't have to look at me go, Oh, where is the power button? And I actually did start the app earlier. Did I get it right? Let me see Let me see if I got the app right. And I loaded a bunch of stuff in. I'm going to open it. It's kind of a mess right now. Okay, so... Put this here. So I... I, I opened the app earlier, and I uploaded a bunch of um, sounds into it. So you can see from here... They got different slots. One, two, three, four, five slots. And I put like a London, that means kind of a British sounding cabinet. Modern, I don't know what's a modern. California, I'm assuming boogie style kind of cabinet. And you can load different stuff into it, into the sound. So let's get nerdy. We have routed the cable, the signal into this as the cabinet simulator. So listen to this. Um, if we turn the cabinet simulation off here by pressing this to nothing, let's hear how these guitars sound right now. <laughs> Horrible. Without cabinet simulation. You always need this cabinet. This sounds like some terrible plug-in. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And now we're going to put the simulation in. There you go, now... Yeah, it's very punky earlier. Let's see which cabinet we like. Next one. Next one. Next one. Nothing, we don't want to hear that. Okay, the first one I think sounds the best. By the way, this is really cool, I like this. Look, wow. This is like you're in some kind of vodka bar in Finland. When you think about wacky stuff like that, you the Finns might have had a lot of drinks to think about these cool things here. They were probably drinking the longer or whatever crazy drink they have in Finland. To think of this cool, this cool um, volume control. Oh, yeah, this is nice. <laughs> you got the blend button. I know you can plug headphones, you can plug your music directly in in case you want to practice quietly through headphones, so that's useful. Um, I can't really kind of pull it off and just pull it apart, but here's some, there's an aux in there and the headphones on the outside. You can do remote Bluetooth to it. So I guess if you really want, you can watch a movie from your home cinema sitting at the back if there's not enough latency. If there's not too much latency from the <laughs> your cinema unit. Only way to test a, re a pedal or any kind of things like that is you gotta play along and see how the music cut in. Let's play the BC Rich. You guys wanna see the BC Rich? Let's do that. We're gonna go for California. Let's do this. So I'm gonna be terrible on this guitar to try this out because, well, the guitar is totally neck heavy. Look. That's the price you pay 
to look like a badass. What do you guys think I can use with a pedal like this? It, you kind of really need, if you're gonna make your own tone, you need your, your EQ pedal. Of course, if you're using, if you plug it into an amp, a lot of time you don't have an EQ pedal, you're EQing on the amp. It's kind of more like a travel kit, maybe. Um, I think it's better for bass player. At the moment, you plug the bass directly in and you can use it as a headphone thing. So it has bass cabinets and guitar cabinets. Interesting device. I think they created a device that is a specific tool. So do you need the tool? Um, I guess if you need it, but they don't have enough cabinets at the moment, I think in here. You need way more than that. Because guitarists are crazy. They want a lot more stuff. Even though they'll never use it, you're only gonna choose one in the end. This is a pedal that you would use on the pedal board, but you can't just have one distortion pedal. You can you can play it, you can use it as a practice thing, but as a line out for speaker simulation, you need to have a complete board. So this is a tool to add into a board that you already have the EQ and stuff like that if you don't have an amp. So I would say this pedal is more suited in a pedal board, if you have a pedal board and you don't have an amp that day and you want to direct line, you can take this with you and you can put it at the end of the signal and this will get your pedal board into the desk immediately. So I had fun playing with it. And um, the minus thing I would say is for future improvement on this product, I couldn't get this to power up using phantom power and um, the USB doesn't power it, so it needs an external power here. Unfortunately, the phantom power wouldn't do it. And maybe there's a way of doing it. I don't know how to do it. And what else? That's it, really. I think it's a cool thing if you've got something and you can... You can use this live and feed a backing track via Bluetooth or using cable here on the aux input. You see the aux input here? So that's used both but maybe for solo artists to perform live. They can just plug their stuff in, maybe the acoustic guitar in, direct line and get a headphone out and then put a backing track in. So that's some of the stuff you can do with it. I don't know. You guys might be able to figure out what this thing will work for you. And like I said, every gear is a tool. So it works for some people, it doesn't work for some people. Um, I think this is a good one to switch out cabinet simulation very quickly on your system as, as well. Um, it's got some little things. So it's a unique little pedals. 